Hey, so today we're gonna to be talking about the EOS R5 and the R6 since Canon just announced them this morning. So before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe and like the video if you do end up liking it. And let's just talk about these cameras. The Canon EOS R5 just officially got announced today. I don't think that they announced the release date of it when it's gonna be shipping, but if they did, let me know in the comments below. But they did announce the price and they officially, officially announced both the R5 and the R6. So let's take a look at both of those. So the EOS R5 is of course the bigger brother to the R6 and the EOS R. This is the current lineup as we're seeing it. EOS RP, EOS R, EOS R6, and then the EOS R5. If you can't afford the EOS R5, then I would highly suggest looking into the R6. So let's start off with price. It's insane for this camera to be as cheap as it is. Canon cinema cameras, the C500 Mark II is $16,000 and that films in 6K. The R5, on the other hand, films in 8K and it's gonna come out at under $4,000, $38.99. The EOS R6 is gonna come in at $24.99. So about $2,500, it's right around the price range of an A7 III. So it is that very competitive, like high-end mirrorless camera price range. And then the R5 is a little bit above that, a little bit higher end, but of course you're getting higher end features. So what are those features? So the EOS R5 has a 45 megapixel sensor. That's insane. Um, and then the R6 has a 20 megapixel sensor. The R5 is gonna be the most well-rounded camera that is gonna be released. It's gonna be a really great photography camera with that 45 megapixels, and it's an insane video camera. Of course, talking about video, the EOS R5 is gonna be able to shoot 8K raw video, also 4K at 120 frames per second. And then the EOS R6 is gonna shoot 4K at 60 frames per second. So if you want a camera that shoots 4K, 4K at 120. Granted, there's not a lot of cameras on the market that even do this. Normally, 4K 60 maybe might be the highest that a camera goes. If you want 120 frames per second, you normally have to go into 1080p. So for this camera to even do 4K 120, you're gonna have to pay a little bit extra. So what else is really different about these two cameras? Well, the R6 has a dial on top. The R5 has the LCD screen, like what the R EOS R has. And then, of course, the card slot. So you're filming 8K raw video, that's insane. The amount of processing power that has to go on to that is insane, so you need a fast card. So the R5 has CF Express and an SD card. And then the EOS R6 has two SD card slots. Okay, so these are two of the biggest differences between the cameras that we are just learning out about. Luckily, we have some YouTubers like Peter McKinnon that actually got to have a pre-production version of both of these cameras. So what we now know from his his testing is that the EOS R5 is gonna have a slight overheating problem. That's nothing that we didn't really know before. Of course it's gonna have an overheating problem. It's a really small camera. Like, it's a small camera. It's not that much bigger than the EOS R, so it's gonna have an overheating problem, especially when you're trying to film 8K raw video. Yeah, so that's one of the biggest factors that you're gonna have to look out for when looking at this camera. The R6 didn't have any overheating issues. That's just because it doesn't have to process as much as the R5 does. Uh, you're only getting 4K at 60 frames per second, so that's pretty easy for the camera to handle. Both of these cameras have in-body image stabilization. Canon's RF lenses do also have stabilization in them, so you're getting the 5-axis image stabilization from the camera and then the stabilization from the lenses. So the stabilization that you can get from this combination eliminates the need for a gimbal. These cameras are insane. The fact that this camera exists in 2020 Hopefully, it comes out in 2020. It should come out in August or September, hopefully. But the fact that this camera is gonna get released in 2020 is insane. So in the palm of your hand with the EOS R5, you're gonna be able to film 8K raw video with C-Log, Canon's dual pixel autofocus, and in-body image stabilization with no crop. 
So this is gonna be one of the most revolutionary cameras to come out. This camera is gonna change everything, literally everything. I'm so glad that Canon has finally got into the game. Like I said, the Canon EOS R5 is gonna come in at $38.99, and then the EOS R6 is gonna come in at $24.99. They're both very competitive, so it's a difference of if you need more megapixels in your sensor, or if you need to film 4K, 120, or of course, 8K video. If you don't need to go the extreme route with the R5, I would highly look at getting the R6, especially compared to the EOS R. So I just wanted to come in here and talk about these two cameras since they just got released. And you know my channel is way too small to pass up anything that'll get it traction. So with that being said, be sure to subscribe, like the video, let me know what you think about the R5 and the R6. And thank you so much on 1,000 subscribers. There's definitely a video about that coming soon. But that's all that I have, so all right, all right.